What it is, live posse. Ryan Anthony back with another one. Like I say, these visuals I got for y'all right now is me working out. Just want you to feel motivated. You know what I'm saying? Instead of showing the boxes that I'm finna talk about, them working out, they have they have they have something to work out for. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm doing it for people like me and you, average people. We ain't got we don't have no fight to get ready for. We just doing it because we want to be healthy. We want to be here for our kids, grandkids, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got going on, I want to motivate you. See somebody regular just like you getting it in. So hopefully, you you know what I'm saying? After this video, you, 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 you listen to me talk about these two fighters and you get on. And you know what I'm saying? You... You a uh, shadow box for a, a round or two, and you you go 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 to your gym and hit hit, hit a couple sets, or even even in your crib, hit a couple sets in your crib, man. That's that's what this visual is for. But anyways, man, let's get to this boxing, bro. Let's get to this boxing. Um, man, I feel man, not too many people is talking about this unified middleweight championship that's finna go down at 100 160 man talking about Janabek Alam Kali I'm just calling Janabek cause I don't wanna mess up his name and Vincenzo Galatero I'm, I'm not gonna mess his name up on no, no more so we gonna call him Vincenzo so Janabek uh, going against uh, Vincenzo for uh, the unified middleweight title at 160 um yeah, man, this this is a good one. This is a good one, and and not enough people was talking about it. Uh, going down, I think uh, October fourteenth, um, on ESPN. Man, tune get be be ready to tune in. I think this is a fire fight. Uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all though. I got Jenna Big winning, man. At first, at first I saw uh, you know what I'm saying a couple fights of Vincenzo. I'm thinking like, oh man, uh, you know. And you know, like because Jenna Big been sticking in the phone booth, he been sticking in the pocket and and, and, and and really been getting away from his boxing skills. Uh, he he been getting away from the boxing aspect. He just been fighting it. You know what I'm saying? Duking it out and 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 seeing who he, he who hit the hardest, and <laughs> who the last man standing. So I'm like, man, I'm watching Vincenzo. Vincenzo got a chance, you know. We, he he stick to the fundamentals, you know what I'm saying? He box, he stick to the outside, and he pick his shots or whatever. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know, man. Vincenzo might, might pull off the upset. But, 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 but I sat down and I did my homework. Did my due diligence. I did my homework, man, and I don't know, man. I think for this fight, uh, just like like I, I was duped with the Terrence Crawford, you know, Terrence Crawford. We knew he he can put on a master class performance. He we knew he could put on a diamond performance. It's just his last probably ten fights he didn't do it. So we thinking like, all right, well, Earl Spence got a chance if he gonna fight like that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he gonna fight like that. We know he got a chance on how he been looking. Even though he been getting dudes up out of there, it was just the way he's getting them. Like he's fighting. He's not putting on a boxing master class. With certain fighters, the master class gonna have to show out. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and he rose to the occasion. So I'm not I'm I'm not being duped no more. You know what I'm saying? So uh. Jennebeck came in the game, man. He he came in the game, man, and uh, he showed that he can move. He he got great feet. He can move. Uh, he uh he got great head movement. Um, he he can give you angles. He got a nice jab. He showed that you he 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 can stick he can stick to the he can sit, stick to the sweet science if you want to, but he and also if you wanna if you if you wanna really. If you really want to shoot shoot some bombs, we we he can do that too with you, and he could take a punch. Uh, and he just been really sitting in the pocket lately. But I think for this fight, I think he's he's going to do both. Now, um, like I say, I think I got Jenna Beck winning. I got Jenna Beck winning by stoppage. Um, I see his favorite punches the uppercut. Uh. 
in Vincenzo, man, his last fight, man, I saw, I saw you know, uh, the, 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 how he got the IBF championship against Falco. Uh, I don't want to butcher his last name neither, but uh, so we just going to leave it at Falco. Um, yeah, Falco was a southpaw. Uh, he kind of... Uh, he kind of was doing the same thing that Jenna Bixen, but, you know, Jenna Bick is better. Uh, he got hurt a couple, uh, you know, Vincenzo showed that he he, he, he can hurt you. Um, like, he, he he actually caught him with an uppercut, and I think Jenna Beck favorite punch is an uppercut in the inside. Man, and he, he know how to slip it in there. Um, and he caught Falco with an uppercut and dropped him, hurt him real bad. So, uh, but he showed, uh, Vincenzo saw a little weak points, man. Uh, Falco was getting off in that in that pocket. Uh, I think Vincenzo, Vincenzo was kind of getting tired in that fight a little bit, but he was he was pushing off Will. He was pushing off Will, and, and you could tell he was wherever he's. I forgot where he's from, but that's where that fight he he got the um he he he, he got the fight a little dirty. He was hitting with the sh he was using the shoulder. Uh, he 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 low blowed him a couple times, yeah, man. Like he, he, I don't know. He he might try to do anything to get an edge, but I I don't know. I think Jenna Beck gonna gonna stop him. I, I could see him stopping him. Um, Jenna, both both guys keep their hands low. Um, um, Jenna Beck is a southpaw. He keep that right hand. He keep that right hand low, but he has great head movement though. So. Uh, he he might he may get uh Vincenzo to shoot the jab and I think Vincenzo got a great jab I think uh, if he keep his hand his high guard up like like almost kind of like how Winky Wright used to do I think he and he shows that he got a great speed I think if he, he if he time Jenna Beck he can he can he can use the jab all night and be able to you know make this a make this a a rough night for Jenna Beck but. Ah, Jenna Beck got great time. He showed that he he got great timing, man. And his jab is stronger. His that jab is way stronger. It's like it, I had to look up. I'm like, I wonder is his is he actual a right hander fighting in the southpaw stance? Because I'm like, man, his jab is so strong. But I think he's a natural uh, lefty. So, but he 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 hit hard with both hands. Um, yeah, man, I, I just I just see Vincenzo kind of he's gonna he gonna box a little bit, but I can see once they get in that fifty fifty range, uh, if they get in the phone booth. I think Jenna Beck is just gonna show his his skill, man. Uh, and yeah, I can see the uppercut landing a lot, uh, because in the Vinc when Vincenzo won the championship against uh, Falco, uh, he he. When they got into the phone booth, he would like shell up and like kind of bend his knees down. And even Falco was landing the uppercut, but Falco didn't have the punching power that Jenna Beck had. So and I and I saw that I'm like, oh, you can't do that against Fal. Uh, you can't do that against Jenna Beck with uh and Jenna Beck favorite punches that uppercut and it's solid. So yeah, man, I got Jenna Beck winning this uh by tenth round stoppage. Um. But I think it's gonna be a beautiful fight. I think it's gonna be a beautiful fight. I think I think everybody should tune in. I think people should be watching this fight. I think people more people should be talking about this unified title championship. I think this is a fight that's slept on. Every I know I understand everybody. Uh, <laughs> everybody care about the blue chips or whatever you know. <clears throat> um, and plus, this is uh, going down after the Charlo and Canelo, so everybody mind gonna probably be on there for a couple weeks. So yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> and then it's off to Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna be talking about that. But uh, I think this fight, this this a fight everybody should tune in. But man, y'all leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, check out my shorts if you want to work out. Like I say, a video, if you view 15 seconds or you get all the way through, I appreciate it. But if you part of this live posse, you know it's all love. Ryan Anthony, I'm out.